G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now you may have heard that Microsoft are removing the old SharePoint alerts functionality that has been there for many, 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 many years to a more streamlined and modernized approach. Now in this video, by the end, you are going to know how to use a more modern approach to SharePoint notifications and it is really really easy for you to transition as a as an end user. So let's just get stuck into how we go about setting up these notifications uh, in the new modern era. So we can see that I'm on a SharePoint site and I'm just going to jump into a trainings manual library. Now, one of the notifications and common notifications that um, the traditional service was used for is being alerted to when, well, whenever new documents are added or maybe deleted, or even if metadata uh, or values are changed in certain columns. So, we have this functionality now under um, under automate under rules where we can create rules and you can do that yourself as an end user. So you can see here if I'm just I'm just going to jump into manage rules for a minute and this is where all of your rules will live and you can then turn them on or off. You can see that I've got three notification uh, rules here and I can these are all turned off but I could toggle them to on. Now I can create a rule from this dialog box here. So when I click on create rule, you can see that I can take an action when a file or metadata is modified, when a new file is added, when a file is deleted, or even when a date approaches, if you do have date a date column in that library. So let's take a look at this first one. So if I take an action when a file or metadata is modified, you can see that I've got I'll basically fill out this template. So when a, uh, when a file is modified and I've got a drop down box here, always or if. So when a file is, is modified, if a category changes uh, and the new value is anything, or I can enter a specific value, or I can say is one of, or is not, I can then send an email, copy a file, move a file, create a translated copy in, or even set the value, all right? So I'm just going to choose send an email to. So when a file is modified, if category changes and the new value is anything, send an email to, I can type in an email address, but I am going to say, uh, let's call it me, all right? Or I could say, I've got, I've got two people columns added to this library. I could say send an email to the owner or send an email to the person that is allocated to approved by or created or modified by. So any column really that has a person column. But I'm just going to choose me in this case. I'm logged in as Frankie. Let's say the category of this file has changed. And I'm going to hit create. That's going to automatically create that rule for us. And you can see there, I've got a notification rule. If I go create a rule, and now I'm going to say when a new file is added. So when a new file is added, I've got another drop down and some options. I can always, or I can say if, all right? So if I wanted to get notified whenever, or all the time, when a new file is added, you'd always, you'd, you'd select always, or I could say when a new file is added, if the value of, let's say owner is enter, I'm going to say is, um, let's go for Frankie Anderson, send an email to me, all right? A new file was added and I am the owner, okay? And I'll hit create. So there's our second rule that's been set up. And that was using when a new file is added. What about when a file is deleted? So again, I'm gonna select when a file is deleted. So when a file is deleted, this is a little bit more simple, all right? We don't have any options. I'm going to say, send an email to me. This file was deleted. And I'll hit create. So I've now got 
three notification emails or rules set up. I'm gonna click on create rule. Now this is an interesting one. Now when a date approaches, so in this scenario, we might have a column that has an effective date, an approval date, or even a review date might be an option. So uh, a certain amount of days prior to a review date or prior to an approval date or effective date, I'm gonna choose effective date. Let's say 14 days before the effective date, send an email to somebody. Right to the owner, approved by, created by, modified by, or me. I'm gonna just say me again on this one. I'll hit create and that will then be created, all right? So transitioning across to this new modern approach of rules, really is more of an education type of piece. So you can use this value, uh, use this video, you can share this amongst your end users or people that do use the SharePoint alerts functionality and get them to start utilizing these rules in your SharePoint lists and libraries. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching SharePoint alerts, old feature moving away, but you can easily transition to these new rules.